Welcome to $20 Tuesdays! $20 Tuesdays is a special time on my channel where I review super cute yet super affordable units for the lovely price of $20 and below. So let's just dive right in. So today I have a unit by Made Beauty and the name of this unit is Kalissa. And I have Kalissa here in the um it's like a B4340 color so you have these long dark roots here and then you have these highlights that go into the bottom, which I think is really pretty. Calissa does come with your typical cap construction. You have your two combs here in the front, comb in the back with the adjustable straps here. It does come with a five inch parting space. They say that it's like a pre-plucked invisible part. I'm not sure why they call it that. I feel like most wigs that come out now, if not all, come with a parting area that's pretty plucked. New wigs coming out now are not like Free Trust Equal Janny from like five years ago with no parting space whatsoever. So that's the parting. And this is a lace part wig, so it came with no lace to cut whatsoever. Now I wanted to do my format a little bit different today. When I took this wig out the box and I tried it on, I was like, huh, this is actually really easy. This could be a really easy sleigh for a beginner. So I decided like, you know what? I wanna show the average beginner how to, you know, put their wig on and slay it in real time. So I'm not gonna have a lot of footage of me speeding things up in this video. I'm just showing you in real time what it looks like when I put a wig on. And I think Calissa is a good wig to do this with. Let's just get into it. All right, so I have Calissa on here and I'm literally just moving her up. And as soon as I put her on, I'm like, oh, ooh, it's a little snug. Mind you, I have a medium-sized head and it feels tight. So yeah, that should tell you a lot. If you have a bigger head, ooh, Calissa would give you some issues. You see, now that I have her like on my head, I mean, I have to pull her down. Like it's not really coming all the way down on my head and the straps are not adjusted, so there's that. Okay, so now I have her on. Now, there are some people that will walk out the house like this, but you're not gonna be one of those people, okay? One thing I noticed about this wig off the bat is that here, you know, most lace part wigs come with a line of demarcation, but this does not have a strong line of demarcation. I'm really, Surprised by that. Do you see what I'm talking about here? I wish I had a wig on me to compare it to. This makes me happy because normally with wigs like this, I would cut the V in my lace, but because I want this to be extra beginner friendly, I'm not even gonna do that this time. And I'm just gonna see how it looks with just the powder. Because it is a tighter fit, it is laying really flat on my head, like flat to the scalp. So I think that I can get by with just using powder, not even got to be glue, but let's see. If you wanna see me continue to slay this wig, please stay tuned. All right, y'all, so the next thing I would do here is flatten down the top, because as you can see, there's some hump action going on. I've got my blow dryer. I'm gonna put my blow dryer on high. So now it's laying a little flatter now that I have applied heat to the top of the unit. And um, yeah, now we're just gonna add powder. I use my Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the color 360. And I like to take an angled brush here and I'm just applying the powder. Whoop. Now it might go on a little heavy. It's up to you to blend that out because you don't, you don't want that to look like that. And you also don't want to look like you're parting the Red Sea. You feel me? Ooh. 
Wow, it took me like no time to put on this wig. I swear that took less than five minutes. You see the parting space? I didn't pluck anything. All I did was flatten the top and that was it. Okay, so you all literally just watched me apply that wig in real time and it literally took less than five minutes. You guys, all I did was put the wig on. You saw how I blow dried it and flattened out the top. I added pressed powder. Done. I didn't use any got to be glue. I didn't use any free spray. That was it. This was so easy. And look at how it's looking on me. Hmm, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's just let's just dive right into the pros and the cons. So the first process unit for me is the coloring job on this. This is a personal preference, but I like long dark roots. I like the look of hair that is like it was once colored one solid color and then it's grown out and you see the highlights, you know, are almost towards the middle to the ends of the hair. I really like that look. So for me to have a wig come like this already, oh man, I love it. I think the 4340 combination color is beautiful. You know, you see um, the browns, the mixture of browns with the, the 1B color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. I think it looks really good against my chocolate complexion. Definitely very brown girl friendly. So if you're the type of woman who wants to experiment with some color, but you're not as outlandish as I am, pick up a wig like this, like this. This is the type of color I can get behind for someone who's a beginner to color. I think this is still subtle and still nice enough for, you know, people who have jobs where they can't wear bright colors. This is still very work friendly. So big kudos to May Beauty for doing such a nice coloring job on this unit. Another pro to this unit for me is the density. Again, this is another personal preference. I like lighter density units. I have no problem with it. As long as, you know, my tracks aren't showing, I'm good. So I think the density is very natural. Like this is all the hair the front okay this is the hair here to the side hair over here to the back swinging <laughs> and this is the other side I think it looks really good if you're looking for something that's more of a natural density and I would say this is as low as like 120% density get this unit even with it being so light as I Feel the back of my head i'm not feeling any traction guys they definitely did a good job filling up this wig without it being bulky which i can really appreciate again some of you might think this is too light for you totally understandable too it's a matter of preference i also like the texture of this unit it's a nice light yucky texture it does not feel like baby doll hair to me it feels like a silk press which i'm really loving right now i also really like the layers in this unit you see that they're long layers. I think they frame my face really well. I'm just looking at this camera and I'm like, girl. Okay, Gladys, is that your hair? <laughs> I like this, this is so cute. I really, really like this. Now, as far as the cons, I would say one con would be the cap size. It's not big head friendly, y'all. So if you have a larger head, like 22 and a half, 23 inches, this may not be the unit for you. You could try to squeeze your head in it, but I, I wouldn't advise it. But yeah, really, that's my only con. I think everything else is great. The texture, the um, length, you know, it comes down a good maybe 16, maybe 18 at the very longest, and I'm 5'3". I love the highlights. That's like my favorite pro to this unit. I love that the parting space lays flat for it to be a lace part wig and i didn't have to cut a v in the lace to blend to my scalp that to me is amazing and of course the biggest pro is the price you guys do you want to know how much this wig costs do you want to know i know you want to know okay so if you want my specs with this color it costs twenty dollars and 79 cents However, if you don't want the color and you just want like a natural number two or number four color, it costs $16.79. So basically you can get a wig for $16, already straightened with the lace part, meaning you don't have to cut any lace off and it still lays flat. You can just add powder and go flatten it with the blow dryer or your curling wand. Like, come on, you can't beat that. Can't beat it. Huh. Twenty dollars Tuesday is on and popping. I think this wig is a win. I wasn't expecting this to be a win. I thought it was just gonna be like, oh, this is just okay. But once I saw this coloring and the way it's laying on my head with me doing virtually barely any work. Come on, y'all. Who's on the website? Who's on wig types right now trying to purchase this wig? 
let me know in the comments if it's you. I know I'm feeling this wig and I really hope that you all are too. So yeah, y'all, drop a comment down below. Tell me how you feel about Calista for $20 Tuesdays. I think she's a win. I really like this color. I normally go for brighter colors, but the way this these highlights are hitting is really working for me. I think it's beautiful. Also, how do you feel about me showing you how to put on the wig in real time? I specifically did it for this wig because it just looks easy enough. That's probably not something I would do on a regular. But just let me know if that you liked me doing it that way or if you don't mind me speeding up, you know, when I do my reviews as I'm showing the styling. Let me know. And if this is your first time watching me or if you've just been here and you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Tap that subscribe button, join the family, turn on your notifications because I have a lot of goodies coming up and I don't want you to miss it. I also have a few other straight wigs that I really like. One in particular, by Outre, the volume pressed wig. I will forever rant about that wig. It's also lighter density. It's a little bit longer than this. Check out that video because I just felt like my best self when I wore that wig and I've bought it probably three times over by now. So you should definitely check out that video. And if you wanna see some of my recent videos, make sure you check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and for tuning in for $20 Tuesdays. I will see you next time. Bye.